After the passing of the Queen of England, you have no idea how many changes are about to happen. British money, passports, and uniforms are being changed. Prince Charles is putting on a crown and doesn't even have the time to mourn properly. Does this mean Camilla will be the queen and how does the line of succession changes? I'll tell you in a minute. London Bridge is down. These words mean the longest reigning British monarch has passed away. But what does that mean for the whole world in general and for the royal family in particular? Elizabeth has been with us for almost a century. So it's very hard to imagine life without her. But let's see what will happen to the kingdom. The first thing that happened immediately after her death was Prince Charles becoming king. This means that the national anthem has to change from God save the queen to God save the king. The queen's image on banknotes will be replaced with the image of Charles. It is said that he posed for those images quite a long time ago. The new currency will be used immediately and the old currency will be slowly collected by the banks and post offices. But it will probably take several years until the old money won't be used at all. The same will happen to stamps and passports as well as police and military uniforms. What else is changing? There are a couple of changes that will stick only for the period of national mourning. For example, all the media has been prepared for the Queen's death for months, if not years. The BBC news reporters change their regular clothes to black ones, which they have in the studio at all times. The traditional BBC red news sticker turned black. The stock exchange and shops and businesses close on the day of the Queen's death to show respect. According to tradition, a footman dressed in black approached the gates of Buckingham Palace and placed a black edge notice on the gate saying that the Queen has passed. This is done for everyone who was standing near the palace and might have not seen the news. Pilots also announced the Queen's death to people traveling on commercial flights due to most of the people not having access to 24-hour live news while in the air. The Royal Family's official website showed the announcement on its homepage. Flags were lowered to half-mast. During this time, the BBC won't show any comedy shows, but you'll see many documentaries about the Queen. Things have already begun changing, but the Queen's death may change more than a picture on a stamp or a passport. For example, Australia has expressed their desire to become a republic, and the Queen's passing may increase its chance to do so. Furthermore, other countries could follow. This will weaken the British monarchy significantly. Charles has announced that he intends to interfere with politics. Now, to the question that has been asked for many years. Will Camilla become queen? Now that Charles is the king, technically, no, she will not be a queen. She is now a queen consul, pretty much like Prince Philip was to Queen Elizabeth. Camilla will be helping her husband in meetings and business. What about the line of succession? Now that Charles is the king, William is next in line to the throne. He is now called the Prince of Wales, which makes Kate Princess of Wales. But since it was the title of Princess Diana, Kate might opt out in respect to her late mother-in-law. This also makes Prince George second in line. Next comes Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis, and the fifth in line is Prince Harry. It's interesting, isn't it? Charles is turning 74 in November, but it seems he's been waiting for this moment all his life. He'll be called King Charles III, but many people would like to see William on the throne. What about you? Who would you prefer? Write down in the comments.